Hit me, baby, one more time because I'm playing blackjack. Your boy loves it, and that's why I love freaking DraftKings Casino, all right? Look, play exclusive games like Fan Fave Rocket. The excitement is endless, okay? The vibes are right, and the cash could be huge, okay? New players start playing with just 5 bucks and get 100 back instantly in casino credits. Download the app and use code NOCHASER5 to book your one-way ticket to fun with DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours, bitch! Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 and over. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per opt in new customer. $5 wager required. Max $100 in casino credits awarded which require one-time playthrough within 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com dot com slash promos restrictions apply tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake tell me why i never wanna hear you say I want it that way. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Chase Podcast. I want it that way. I'm Drew the Rock Soup. <laughs> I'm Ricky Shucks. And today we got a very special episode. Why I've known this girl for a long time. We don't like talking nothing like that. But I met her a long ass time ago. Uh, yo, uh, stand up comedian, uh, model, actress. She was on Girl Code, Guy Code, all the codes. Make some noise, Melanie. Iglesias, yeah. what's good? Oh, you be singing too. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a better writer than a singer. Okay, I like okay. Right. Um, well, let, we'll get into it. Okay. First of all, oh, would you like some tequila? Sure. <laughs> I guess so. Cool, cool. I was like, you know, I always ask the guests, like, do you want to sip on anything while we're here? She was like, sure. And she was, I was like, what's your preference? She was like. Whatever, whatever, whatever y'all be sipping on, it looks looks cool. I'm like, all right, cool. I never drink this early because I feel like when you drink early, you have to keep drinking. No, for me, like I'm I'm like in my mid thirties, and like if I stop drinking, I will take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Look, that's the beauty of being in your mid thirties. Is Imagine like, I just. Yeah. <laughs> you can take a nap. We just whisper the rest of the episode. <laughs> don't, don't wake me. Yeah. So anyway, That's my favorite. She's from play. Brooklyn. Man. <laughs> so you're from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Um, that's in New York. <laughs> it's not uh, in the Bronx. Cheers to you. Hey, that's off camera shit. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. I appreciate you. Thank mm-hmm. you. So funny. Mm. Melanie Iglesias, I met you so long ago. Do you remember how we met? No. I feel like I was somewhere in LA and you said, I saw you somewhere and you put me in your vlog. One of your old- Oh, that's what it was. While in our auditions. Oh, that's what it was. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Damn. So that had to be like 2012. And no, it was like 15, 14. Nah, bro, because when Wild and Out, when the reboot of Wild and Out premiered, it was 2013. Oh, I think you're right. Okay. I am. I've been a damn. <laughs> You're right. I was um, auditioning to host the show, to co-host, mm-hmm. co-host before they got a DJ. On. Really? Yeah. And the reason why I didn't go on to do that, I'm not going to name names, <laughs> but um, they told me that the audience wouldn't distinguish me from a while and out girl. And I was like, what's wrong with that mm. anyway? But, um, and I was, I was also hosting four other shows on the network with like conflicting schedules. On MTV? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On I mean, I, I feel like, you know, Girl code, guy code. He's going hard with the the codes. I did. I did the baseball show. The baseball show. What's that? I, it was exactly. <laughs> That's why we only got one season. Show. <laughs> it was called a MLB fan cave. Off the bat from the MLB fan cave on MTV. On MTV, they were they were trying to get young kids interested in baseball, and they were like, "Let's get Melanie on this because I'm such a baseball <laughs> yeah. fanatic." It just makes sense. They yeah. found out that my stepdad played minor league baseball, okay. and they were like, "Oh, she's a shoe in." <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You know what a bat is. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a so fun show. I was sad I didn't get because I got to travel like so much, like every day for that show for like a whole the whole baseball season. Interesting. Cool. And I was the first woman and non baseball player to have my own float in the MLB parade. What I know, you had your own float. Yeah, was it like a big? 
your head? So they pitched it to me. <laughs> they pitched it to me. No, it was everybody had their own car. I had like a little Corvette. Yeah. And it had my name, Melanie Iglesias, on it. I asked if I could bring my boyfriend at the time. They were like, no. <laughs> um, I had just play, I just played the All Star Game. Mm. I did the Celebrity All Star Game, and they were like, we have a great idea. We're gonna pitch a segment to you. We want you to be on the float, and we're gonna film you for the show. And I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be so cool. I'm making history. They're like, you're gonna make history. It's the first woman. And then I got heckled the entire time. Oh, boo. Uh, going oh. two miles an hour on a five mile radius. <laughs> no, uh, you can't even speed by. <laughs> can't even speed by in, in a Corvette for no reason. I may as well have been in a freaking golf cart. Corvette with your name on. And I was like, I'm sorry. They were like, Boo, where's John Carlos? Stanton? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I apply. he's behind me. The judge is coming up next. Time. What were the hecklers saying? They were like. Who are you? <laughs> we don't know her. And the the, the, the prairie um, was in New York. It was in, uh, I think Kansas City. Oh shit! Or no, um, somewhere in the Midwest. <laughs> oh, well, you know, Missouri, Missouri loves company, yeah, is what yeah. they say, right? <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was a fun. I had a great weekend. I had better time than probably everybody watching me. But whatever. <laughs> I'm an asshole. You well, made, still hit- made history though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, gets so mad at a parade? Yeah, that's what it's a well, they, parade. They're like day drinking and stuff. Uh, you know? so yeah. They were we want to so look mean. at somebody else drive yeah. by really slow. And I had like cleavage up to here. They're like, we don't care. Like, yeah. like, we don't want titty. Yeah. This is baseball. <laughs> Where are the dudes at, man? <laughs> it was really humbling and so funny. <sighs> Well, shit, man. Good um, stuff. So you auditioned. I met you yet to audition. <laughs> I was auditioning to be a cast member, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know you was auditioning to be a host. I remember also seeing you in the auditions, uh, you know, the group auditions for mm-hmm. the cast as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, which is interesting, right? Because, yeah, like, there weren't a lot of, uh, I didn't know you were funny. At the time. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't understand the duality of women. I, yeah. You know, look, hey, look, I, I, I know some dual ass girls, <laughs> but uh, I just didn't know you were one of those. Say, wait, you know? wait, wait, they can look like that and act like that at the same time? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> and then uh, I tell you what, during the auditions, hey, she was funny. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't that crazy? I had Shocking. an improv background. <laughs> oh, shit, really? I did. I studied at UCB for a few years. What? I know. And I took sketch writing classes and all that. For real? Yeah. Wow, I had no idea. I know. Mm. I don't do you know, talking about it. <laughs> no, talk, talk your shit, <laughs> But man. Uh, I think the reason why I got on MTV is because they found me. I was like doing... I like won this Maxim contest mm. and I was uploading videos for Maxim.com and I was talking about men's pickup lines, like dish and shit, like back to them, you know? Mm. And they were like, oh, we got, this girl has something we've never seen before. It's a firecracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, MTV saw that and they changed my life. Wow. So, yeah. It was crazy. Nice. And then how many seasons of uh, what the fuck? I know. <laughs> I hit the, yeah, yeah, what the hell? I hit the shaggy right now. <laughs> it's a demon, that was, y'all. It was a little bubble in my throat. <laughs> in my throat. A little bubble in my throat. <laughs> I don't oh, know. That shaggy. I was like, I yeah. don't know what the fuck is that to do with Scooby Doo, but all right. <laughs> no, this well, shaggy right there, I don't know I what happened. You were doing impressions. Uh, no, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. It's like puberty. Oh, uh, <laughs> Um. <laughs> All right, anyway. I just go through it. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get through it. Uh, damn, that was wild. Um, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Uh, 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 when did you, when, how did guy code, girl code come about? Um, so I was, th- I was doing uh, the stuff for Maxim and Maxim called me and said, hey, there's an MTV pilot. They're asking for you. Mm. Can you shoot the pilot? I'm like, well, do they have money? Because I didn't <laughs> even have money. Even though I was doing all this Maxim stuff, <laughs> I got paid like $100 a day mm-hmm. whenever they did have me on a gigs and it wasn't like enough to like nah, pay yeah. rent or anything. So I was like, I can't do the audition if they're not going to pay me to do it. Oh, I've damn. done a lot of pilots before that never got picked up. You, you were trying to get paid to audition? To audition. Yeah. And they did. They were wow. like, okay, we'll give you 200 bucks cash. I was like, I'll see you there. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's that hot girl G-shit. shit. <laughs> and then I did the audition. I did my own makeup and everything. And it ended up being the pilot episode. And it aired. Like, oh, my shit. audition ended up airing. That's the first episode. That's crazy. And the rest is history. We did, I think, five seasons of Guy Code, mm-hmm. three seasons of Girl Code, the baseball show. And then what was, oh, the spinoff of Guy Code, Guy Court, where I was a bailiff. 
Oh, damn. And I got to punish men. It was so fun. Fine. <laughs> I should have been a dominatrix because I had a lot of fun punishing those guys. <laughs> would you, would you ever? What were you it's doing? still time. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, well, I'm going to do the comedy stuff first and see how that pans out. And Cominatrix. Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That that'd, be, that'd be amazing. <laughs> bang, <laughs> bang. Drop the bomb on that. <laughs> what? That's crazy. I'm like, laugh at my joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. Can I curse? Oops. Too late. Uh, no. No, yes. No. <laughs> let, let them fly. Let them fly. Um, that's so funny. What, wait, what did you do to punish men on the on the court show? Oh my God. Um, I drew like a penis on one of their faces. <laughs> um, just humiliating stuff. I smashed one guy's head into a wedding cake. And then we didn't know they left the spikes in the cake oh, that, hold, what? that hold the, the tears, tears together. Yeah. yeah. And the guy, I took, I almost took a guy's eye out. He's like, it's okay. I love you. And oh, I was like, God. oh my God. I feel so <laughs> It wasn't a liability on me. It was an MTV <laughs> yeah. problem. But I was I was freaking out. Jeez. I felt bad for him. That was the only person I felt bad for. He got <laughs> injured for real. But <laughs> I'm an atrix. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put Do that it. in my in my Instagram Put it in your bit. Bio. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. it. I still rich jokes all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it ghostwriter. <laughs> it's just one of those situations where he'll say a joke quietly. I'll be like, ta ha, he said blah blah blah. And then everyone just laughs. <laughs> I just all right, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> so you do stand up too? Yeah. Wait. So how did you get on MTV then? No, I literally. Um. I mean, so when Nick was bringing Wildin' Out back, mm-hmm. uh, somebody actually hit me up and they were like, "Yo, Nick Cannon is bringing Wildin' Out back. You should audition, right?" And I always thought I'd be good on Wildin' Out. So uh, yeah, you have like, so many different. We're kind of similar. We have a lot of yeah. We're, we're just multifaceted yeah, people. Yeah. Bunch of shit going on and. Um, so I followed Nick Cannon on Twitter and then I had already been kind of doing YouTube shit at the time. So he tweeted one day, who, who's the funniest person online? Whoever gets the most retweets of hashtag while and out needs me, I'll audition personally. So I had my, uh, you know, my, my minions <laughs> retweet and then someone, uh, DM me saying like, oh, if you want to audition, contact this person. And and I also, I had a mutual homie who knew Niall, oh. who was like, yo, I know, I know the producer if you're serious about auditioning. And then so, um, you know, there was that also. So I went to audition and, and then, you know, was That's it. so cool. Yeah, man. You yeah. Know. And then, similar. And then Guy Code hit me yeah. to be on a couple episodes. And I remember being like, I'm the first Asian dude on Guy Code. Let's go. <laughs> and then I forgot that like Akash was on that shit too. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we do, we do count them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get, yeah, yeah. Y'all too, y'all too. But uh, uh, the first, the first, the first. <laughs> he know. wanted to say real so bad. <laughs> first, real. <laughs> how, many, how many seasons of Wild and Out did you do? I did um, eight seasons Six years. Damn. So I was filming from 2013 to like 2019. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Then we kind of like broke up. You never wanted to, um, so when, so you auditioned for Wild and Out. Mm -hmm. Did they ever be like, all right, we're not going to have you on the cast, but you be a Wild and Out girl though. They didn't even offer that. Really? No, I think that they thought I probably wasn't interested. I don't, Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not sure if I would have been open tonight at the time. I had a really full plate. But I was interested in definitely more like hosting stuff because it just came more naturally to me. Mm-hmm. I didn't aspire to do any of the. Th- I didn't know I was going to be on MTV. I remember when I, when I was younger, I used to be on Room Raiders. I used to always keep my room clean <laughs> just in case they were going to pop up with just a van <laughs> outside. And then I don't know. I someone. I just my whole life has been like me ignoring what I'm actually good at and just going with whatever people tell me I should do. Mm. <laughs> I think in life, you don't know what you're supposed to do sometimes until people point out, hey, you know, you're actually really good at that. Yeah, that's true, man. So that whole MTV stuff was just like me going with the flow. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just operating in flow of things and just saying yes to every opportunity. And then um, I remember just the level of fans that MTV brings Mm. was spooking me. And I was going through like a hard time in like 2015, 2016. Um, How so? And well, I went through something that I'm going to say for when I have my own podcast. Okay, okay, (laughs) okay. (laughs) Or maybe next time I come back. Whatever. But um, 
I went through something transformative and then it made me question everything. And at the time I didn't want to be bothered. Like I didn't have any privacy anywhere. Like I'm mm. very independent. Mm. I grew up like one of eight kids. So I got extremely oh. ignored. Shit, yeah. <laughs> I'm like the second child, mm. you know, of eight. And I was just used to doing everything like on my own. Mm. And I remember like going to do laundry and people would stop me. Men would follow me home from bars. I like <laughs> it was just I just needed a break to figure out what I wanted to do. And I realized that I wasn't living in my truth. Like I, it was really, I'm really grateful for the opportunity, but I wanted a chance to like be an artist that I never got to be. Cause mm. I, my parents are both artists. My dad plays like, I don't know, 11 instruments. He plays so many instruments yeah. and my mom paints and she's extremely creative and she does art and sculptural stuff. Mm. And, you know, so I just wanted to just express myself and go into a creative like hole and just like crawl away from everything. I was really overwhelmed. I would tell people like, do you get excited like from being nice to people all day? And they'd be like, no, because <laughs> I never wanted to make people feel bad about meeting me or coming up to me. So I would yeah. give everyone my undivided attention and I would go home and have no energy for me. Mm. You know, you know, you got you got to keep that balance. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's why I say no to meet and greets unless the bag is right because I'll be like, bruh. <laughs> you see, I'll do them for free. Oh, And then God, I'm just girl. like so sleepy after. No, oh my it's God. so sleepy I after. I have time for my hobby. <laughs> yeah. Because like, I'll be like, look, performing is one thing, yeah. but the meet and greets are what's really mm -hmm. exhausting. Yeah. Like yeah. Mentally, emotionally exhausting. Oh, yeah. being around people and you're not, you don't really know them. It's, you have to give... You know, you that energy, energy is contagious. You got to turn it you know? up. You have to turn it up. Mm. And not only that, um, some people just suck the energy right out of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they just need so much. And I'm so polite and yeah. I don't ever want to. People have driven so far to come to some of the things I've been part of. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad that they drove eight hours. And even though I wasn't scheduled to do a meet and greet, I'm like, let's hang out. Oh, God. <laughs> I know you have a long <laughs> ride home. And I end up becoming like besties of people who would just come <laughs> out and support. And I had to like put us, I had to go to, I had to like go talk to someone. I'm like, I don't know how to put up a boundary. Yeah. I feel guilty when anyone does anything for me. If anyone who's ever been to my sh a show is like one of my besties. Like shout out to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, look, I fuck with y'all. <laughs> I appreciate it all day. <laughs> but like. I'm like a first, on a first name basis with like hundreds of people <laughs> that have just come to That's see so me. so funny. It's always kind of funny when they tell you that though. Because it's like, what you try to get for that, bro? I didn't tell you to drive all them hours, but they, <laughs> but they always let you know. We came all the way from such and such. Like, Whoa. damn, now I feel like I got to be more excited. I know. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm pretty. Hey, thank you, man. That's crazy. What's I going love on you after? so much. Hey, what's going on after this? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> man. Now, well, you got to get back home, right? <laughs> That's going to take what a while. What are you about to do? Yeah. You should probably <laughs> head out. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, 10 10 hour drive back huh? alright cool well have fun with that big dog <laughs> and like some of these men would try to kiss me like, during, during, during like, to, like meet, meet and greets and shit yeah like mm. so I went on hiatus I don't think anyone noticed no was, like, I, I was gonna ask it was ask like you. during COVID yeah yeah um, my, my last show was right before COVID like right before a shutdown okay. lockdown like a stand up show um, I was singing okay um and it was in Seattle and I had never been there before. Mm -hmm. And someone drove eight hours from Canada to come watch me perform. Man, at this like Canadian. little venue okay. with just my girlfriends. We just wanted to go on tour together, like with my friends. And mm -hmm. um, this guy was like, oh, I drove eight hours to come see you. And that was a red flag. I should have known because my dad has never put that kind of effort into coming into any of my shows. So, so I was like, hmm. Um, I, I ignored it. And then I was just talking. We were talking for like a good, I felt bad. When he said he drove eight hours, I felt so bad because I always wanted to go eat yeah. and go to sleep. Yeah. But then he tried to kiss me. And on the mouth? On the mouth. Yeah, yeah. he just leaned in like, e. like closed his eyes and everything. And I was oh, like, oh. God. <laughs> um, yeah, so... It spooked me. So then I immediately, like, my friend took me and I left. And then I blocked this guy because he started DMing me on Instagram. And after yeah. I blocked him, all hell broke loose. Like, he made thousands of accounts harassing me. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm done. I don't want to see anybody ever again. Oh. And I, I hid for, like, three years during the pandemic totally by myself. And I just got really creative. Mm. And I emerged a whole new person. Um, and I don't feel bad for people anymore, especially <laughs> men who, like, try to pressure me into being nice to them because, I, you know, the guilt trip. And stuff. I'm not that girl anymore. Yeah, yeah. man. It was— uh, I was just going to say, this is why— 
Women don't be nice. Yeah. Because <laughs> y'all don't let them be okay. nice. <laughs> exactly. But I feel like when I'm nice to someone, they think I want them. Exactly. And then when I'm a bitch, they think I'm playing hard to get. <laughs> oh, I just got to start <laughs> kicking people in the nuts, I think. I don't know how else to send a message. I'm going to make you a shirt that says, I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going to think she a bitch. I, I know. That's, that's fine. Better. Yeah, that's I was going to say. And the thing is, fun. I've been single for seven years. You mm. think I'm playing hard to get with everybody? <laughs> no. Maybe I just am not interested. Anymore. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, look, I was definitely a dude, and Rick can attest to this, that like, let a girl be a little bit nice. I'd be like, hey, dog. Hey, dog. I think <laughs> she's, she's feeling me. She looked at me. feeling me, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. She, she kept eye contact for longer than 1.5 <laughs> seconds, dog. I think she wants my dick, dog. Hey, fall back, bro. I don't care if she brought you flowers, bro. She looked at me in the eyes, dog. <laughs> Tim is the guy when you search on on Google and Quora comes up and it's like a girl maintain eye contact with me for three seconds and she want me what does this mean <laughs> what does this mean <laughs> I brought a ring already but before I propose just want clarification and I tell you this I was wrong a lot of the time <laughs> yeah, weird <laughs> they don't always want you man so how do you know a girl definitely doesn't want you uh, <laughs> well look I, that, that's difficult for me like look like, of course I'm married now right? right but in my single days I was definitely a uh Okay, for one, I'm like, oh, she gave me a, she gave me a little eye contact. I think she wants me, and it was a like, Help. I'm going after it. You know what I'm saying? If it was like, if I thought it was like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna see what's good. You Not know? in a lean in, try to kiss this woman that you have no reason to be kissing kind of way. Just yeah. to be clear. No, I'm not just gonna lie. That's happened as well. Oh god. Where, where, where I, I got a little bit of eye contact, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is it. I'm like, oh, she wants, she wants a kiss. <laughs> this is the moment. And I, I'm not like, but you know, I be, I be in the club and so like, she just lean back. Well, well, there was a situation once, <laughs> like where it was a, it was a homegirl's birthday, and like, <laughs> and she was. <laughs> All in my eyes, <laughs> I thought at, at her birthday, and I'm like, okay, cool. She just wants, to, and mind you, I just, I mean, look, you know me, Rick. I just, I just like random kissing too. Like when I was single, I just like if someone wanted to kiss, I'm like, yeah, let's fucking kiss us. Kissing is fun. It doesn't even mean anything. Yeah. So it was a homegirl who was in my eyes. And I, I, she was just appreciative that I was at her birthday, I guess. And I was like, okay, cool. She wants to kiss real quick. And I was trying to like give her a little peck, like happy birthday, it's your birthday. And she was like, oh my God, my bro my boyfriend's right there. And I was like, oh shit, my bad. I didn't, I misread that completely. Totally. And then so. <laughs> misread what? I said, thanks for coming. <laughs> and then, yeah, exactly. And then like, it was a whole thing. And I was like, oh shit, my, my fault. And like, dude, dude was mad. And I was trying to be like, hey dog, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't mean. And he was like. Like, he was like, dude, just just don't even talk to me. And I was yeah, like, oh fuck. fuck. I'm sorry. And the homegirl, the home, the homegirl's homegirl was like, you should probably go. And it's like, all right, I'm out. I mean, you you should have excused yourself after that no matter what. Probably, probably. I thought I could probably No one should tell you to leave after that. Yeah, yeah. It, and that was <laughs> and I, like, well, you go, Nah, bro, you know how you know how it is when like a girl looks like she wanna kiss, right? It don't matter. <laughs> I would love to know what that look is. Cause uh, I feel like I do that look all the time. Without it knowing, doesn't exist. no, I think a lot of men just have wishful thinking, <laughs> and that's what you, you kind of learn. What? The, no, I think there is a look, <laughs> <laughs> but but it's also like you should probably you gotta you gotta especially nowadays you gotta make sure you gotta make sure because <laughs> like I used to always think like okay look if I'm if I'm face to face and we got the prolonged eye contact I'm like yeah let me let me just let me just. Right, that but boy be you know, movies. but I've but I've learned that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank See, God I'm I don't have always to... the aggressor in the situation. Okay, well that's a blessing. Yeah, like I will totally make the. First. I have no problem. A lot of when I used to date men, I don't date men anymore. Um, <laughs> you date girls now? I date anyone except men. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it's it's not new. It's something I feel like dating men. Oh, man, I think I'm like a masochist. Okay. Like it never. I'm not emotionally connected to them. I'm, I find men attractive, but I don't have emotional connection with them because of negative experiences. Just negative experiences. I don't think that I've ever been connected to a man emotionally. Ever, like, ever. Like I think my ego was probably hung up on things, and like mm. I wanted like certain validation, but I don't think it was like love. Yeah, I think it was like, well, I have a bit about this. I've been I've been working out on stage, but. <laughs> I say I never knew what love was supposed to look like because my parents, like, did not get along. Mm. You know, I watched my mom, like, throw shit at my dad's mm. head and, like, you know, like, get really good into it. So when, you know, my my ex and I would get would fight, 
you know, and he would do awful things to me. I'd call my mom and be like, I think I found the one. Like, <laughs> I I didn't know. It's a, <laughs> that's, that's a great bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's funny. I, I left some stuff out. No, no, but, that's, that's not. But no, yeah, no. <laughs> it's a, I didn't know. Yo, let's have some fun and rewind it back to the days of relaxing on the beach and all day fun with spring break on DraftKings Casino. Play exclusive games like Fan Fave Rocket. The excitement is endless, the vibes are nice, and the cash prizes could be huge. You know your boy loves to play a little blackjack. Bam! Hit me! Bam! Hit me! Bam! Hit me! Oh my god, I went over, but I don't care. Hit me again. That's how much fun I'm having. I don't even care, bro. I don't even know what adds what to make 21. I just like playing. New players start playing with just 5 bucks and get 100 back instantly in casino credits. Download the app and use code NOCHASER5 to book your one-way ticket to fun with DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 and over. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per opt in new customer. $5 wager required. Max $100 in casino credits awarded which require one-time playthrough within 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com dot com slash promos restrictions apply i don't know and i kept trying because yeah. mm-hmm. you know and i also feel like all the straight women that i know that are in a hetero sexual relationship are like no friends i don't know your situation with your wife <laughs> but like they're in the trenches man like it is like bad like it is like um they're like oh but i know he loves me like how <laughs> how i don't know that's so funny because you know I always kind of keep that in mind because I've heard people say like i believe in marriage because my parents had a great relationship or blah 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 mm-hmm. so even when i'm like annoyed with my wife in front of the babies i be like hey i love you so much <laughs> 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 because, that's good though yeah because also like my three-year-old she's so perceptive now mm-hmm. so even when i fuck around when i'm pretending to be mad because you know I, I like to fuck around mm. like when i'll be like uh you know like, like random example, like made up example. I'd be like, "Why you wash the bit? Why you wash the dishes?" Right, some <laughs> dumb shit like that. Like my my three year old Veda, she'll be like, "Daddy, why you why you why you talk loud to mommy?" <laughs> like shit like that. Right, I'm like, "Oh, she's just paying attention." Oh, I love her. So I don't even joke yeah. like that because she's gonna mirror that in her relationships right. in the future. Right. So you have to set the bar really high because yeah. she's gonna want what you. Because mommy's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, but I said really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta argue in private when the kids are sleeping yeah. somewhere else. There's just also rules to arguing. You know, you shouldn't ever throw anything. I found out like, way too late. I found out. <laughs> I, found out way too late. I, I didn't know you weren't supposed to punch holes in the wall. I didn't, I didn't know, you know, I had no clue. And I'm like, whoa, I can't date a man ever again because I have no idea what that was supposed to look like. like Girls been punching yeah. walls? What you mean? Okay, but it's like cuter. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Totally unrelated. I identify as anything but a man now. (laughs) (laughs) I say I say I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to anyone who buys me anything. (laughs) I haven't been able to work since the pandemic because my stalker and shit. I just did a show for the first time like a week ago. And someone made me uncomfortable again. Tell us. This guy brought me a ring. (laughs) He's probably going to, he's probably going to watch this. He brought me a ring and wanted me to like open it in front of him. I'm like, are you proposing? I don't know what to do here. And I was like, thank you. And he thought he was being cute. Yeah. And there was like a line of people waiting to, you know, I mean, I, do you do stand up? Um, you dabbled. I have dabbled. Yeah. I might dabble again because uh, uh, the homie's doing some shows. Yeah. But yeah. Not okay. Cool. So yeah, there was a line forming at, at the end. I, I free meet and greet like I always do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I have to work on that. Um, you charge for an audition. <laughs> God charge for a meet and greet. I know. I charge like corporations. That was you know pre-pandemic. I mean? Her. That's like charging MTV. Like it's I can't charge a human. Like I don't know. It's just. Feel pretend bad. they're all men. <laughs> well, I was like, you know, I was like, okay, I was like, we can finish. I'm like, I was like, I'm sorry, I, we have to wrap this up because there's people waiting. He's like, oh, I'll wait for you. And he sat right behind me at the oh, bar. God. And I had to get all of my friends to like sneak me out of there in plain sight because there's only one exit. Um, 
And, and yeah, and then he wrote me like this long email and sent it to like my manager. And he was like, let me know when you want to drive to Vegas. I'll pick you up. I'm like, you, what do you think? Like people are severely mentally ill and they don't know because the internet, um, and I say that as someone who struggles with mental illness, (laughs) but, but I mean, I don't know, undiagnosed, but there's definitely some shit that's like, (laughs) clearly. (laughs) That you need to figure out. We all got shit we need to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so, you know, um, no boundaries or anything. And and my manager was like, Hey, this, she's not, this is not an email where you can just ask people on dates. Like, and like, that's not, not going to happen. Yeah. And for a minute I was like, I don't know if I want to do this shit anymore, but I'm done letting men dictate like what I do. So. I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to stop performing because I'm uncomfortable. I just need to get a gun, you know? So, <laughs> yes. and be like… Yeah, or some mace at the very least for I the, do for have the that. close encounters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, good, man. Make your whole set <laughs> that. Yeah. Talking shit about how yeah. stupid these men are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame them out of being that way. Take your oh, gun I out do. during your yeah. set. <laughs> <laughs> you know like I, I hate do. more than anything? <laughs> <laughs> People who bring me gifts and expect something afterwards. I like the gifts, but don't expect anything afterwards. <laughs> Yeah. Leave the gift at the door. <laughs> and back the fuck up, son. By the way, it's five thousand dollars for a photo after the show. Oh god! No, I'm just kidding. Well, just because my sanity he is. He puts not- his camera down. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but for sure, find that balance, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because mean greets. Look, I'm finding are- it. Good, good, good for you. Because I was gonna ask you. Because I, I, well, I wasn't sure if I was gonna ask you. Because I saw the the post, the two year hiatus yeah. from socials, and yeah. then I saw the post, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, does she even want to talk about this? Because yeah. I was gonna be like, yo, where the fuck you been? It's the only thing I know how to talk about without like I don't like I don't know like I I first of all. I spent like three years in almost complete isolation. I was talking like friends and stuff like that, but I didn't mm. want to go. I didn't want to perform anywhere. I didn't want to mm. do. And now I'm just like, now that I'm back on stage again and I'm like, I'm going on tour later this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I and just, I just can't shut the fuck up. Like, good, good and I, I decided that if one of these stalkers is going to take me out, that's when I, that's how I'm going to die. And hopefully I become a martyr <laughs> and people <A> learn. Martyr. <laughs> shoot first, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, shoot first. Shoot first. Well, I'm, I'm working on it. Is this your first already. podcast? Um, this is my first anything. What? Like, and so, well, except for my show that I did last week. I did, I've been doing local shows and stuff. But, oh, okay. Um, and finally that one I promoted because I was scared to tell people my location. That's the thing about being an artist is you got to tell people where you are sometimes. Yeah. 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 I, I really think scary. about that too. And that stalker, his friend told me that he thought that he was going to kill me. Like, mm-hmm. like, on some oh his homie thought that the stock yeah. was gonna kill you because yeah. it was that crazy he was like it's getting really bad well he's what schizophrenic and at first I was sympathetic to his mental health because I also struggle with mental health yeah um, but at some point if you're not getting help for it then there's I don't know what else what you want me to do mm-hmm. like you need to figure that out that's no one's problem mm-hmm. you know it's your own so, but no one tells you the only way to beat a stalker is to become a crazier, more psychotic, <laughs> obsessive stalker yourself. Like I had to like, I don't want to tell I mean, if he's watching this, but I had to like, <laughs> I know, I, live, I know where he lives. I know his mom's <laughs> name. I know her maiden name. I know oh his dad's God. name. When he started calling me, I started answering the phone. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I know where like like He's like, like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm putting him away. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to scare him away. And it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, keep talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can put it all for you. <laughs> I like refuse to change my phone number because I've had it since like 2009. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm like, I'm not gonna let you bully me. I'm gonna pick up the phone, bitch. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got what do you want, Jimmy? Number. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I feel like you know. Damn, after all these years. Well, I'm using this as an opportunity to like, um, anytime I'm given a platform anywhere, I want to talk about it to raise awareness. Good. So I'm doing that on stage. And it's it's very funny, but it's also like, it's funny because it's true. Yeah. Um, But yeah. Dang, no, I didn't done, need to make this dark. You were done an interview <laughs> since. Can I have more tequila? Yes. <laughs> you haven't done any type of interview since before the pandemic? Um, I wasn't even planning on doing, you asked me, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. Like well, I didn't tell anyone I was going to do it. But, um, but yeah, I just, I, I usually I would consult like my manager and my agent, but like, I'm like, no, I'm ready to talk my shit. Like I'm ready to just, I'm, I'm like completely different now. Like I'm, you could ask me anything. I'm an open book. Like I want to talk about anything and everything. Well, talk your shit, Melanie. What you got on your mind? Let, give us all the tea. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Let's go. What do you, what do you want tea on? Um, I don't know. Uh, what, what, what do you have tea on? Let us know. I mean, I feel I like know, you got lots of people. You got fucking I brush shoulders with them all. Like well, you got, let's see. We you The pandemic was 2020. That's four years of tea you got for us. So, I mean, like, what, what what's on your chest? What's on your mind, bro? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> like, I feel like I it would need to be. It would need to be. <laughs> Actually, that's the one person I've always had the discernment not to go anywhere near <laughs> Diddy. Diddy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I, I heard stories of just how he would party. And, and I'm not, even though I've always had access to the best and biggest parties, and I've been at a few of them, his parties were just like, absolutely not. Mm. Um, I didn't know any of this was, I didn't know it was like traffic. I didn't know I any mean, of that, we, Yeah, know? we've all heard Diddy stories. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and with the stuff coming out right now, we don't know what's real and what's, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, the yeah. TikTok algorithm is just pushing all the, everyone's crazy takes and yeah. just people putting pieces together from, I don't know, just their mind. <laughs> yeah. You really, you, but, I mean, yeah, because you never know who's just talking. He to told you. us he was a bad boy. Why are we shocked? <laughs> I mean, he built the whole company bad on boy it. boy for life in prison, probably, hopefully. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well then what's the what's the confirmed tea you want to talk about then? Confirmed tea? Um, I don't know. I never met P. Diddy. I met Jennifer Lopez before. Oh, okay. Um, Everybody but, hates her right now on the internet. Everyone does. And it's I'm it's so conflicting because as a Puerto Rican woman from New York City, yeah. I'm like, damn, that's visibility. Yeah. You know, is I mean, J Lo, I always felt like she was someone to aspire like towards. Like she was someone who anything she wanted to accomplish, she did. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of the bulk of the hate that she's getting is misogyny. Mm. However, you can't be an awful person and like because lots of people are awful, but when men do it, it's like way more excusable than if a girl was to do it. Like when men don't get called divas, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. You're laughing. I'm making all both of you uncomfortable. No, no, no. <laughs> I was gonna say men don't. Okay. Call, I'm letting. But they're I'm not. Letting, they don't. I was get, they trying don't get to think of divas. what is. The men I met her and she wasn't nice to me, but I didn't tell, I didn't run and tell everybody because right. I was, I was disappointed because I was just like, damn, like that sucks when someone you look up to your whole life. Mm. I'm like, you well, see, this is why I like Mariah Carey better. <laughs> <laughs> well, the people got stories about Mariah too. Yeah. Well, what's your jail well, story? What Mar- Mariah is like self-aware. Well, she did a movie with someone I was, I was with. Okay. And, um, with like together with? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I met her at this like award, this uh, award show and she wanted to, my ex to go upstairs and she met me and she looked me up and down and she grabbed me and she gave me the hardest, firmest handshake <laughs> in the world. I was like, ow, get okay. my hand back. Jesus. <laughs> Hilarious. You know? And I could just, you know, when you know someone's just like. Trying to intimidate you. Yeah. Mm. You know. And I, it didn't work on me because I was just like, that's sad because you shouldn't, you, you're someone I love. Like, right. it shouldn't be like that. You know what I mean? Mm. And then she made my ex, uh, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> pretend that he was single to promote the mm. movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the publicist, both of them called me and said that, oh, you know, he's going to. So they were at after parties together, like holding hands and stuff mm. to promote this. And it's even worse because I'm leaving a big part of it out. But, <laughs> um, but you know, it just was like. That sucks. Mm. You know, and then I think she was on like Ellen and Ellen was like, doesn't he have a girlfriend? And then she was like, I don't know. We met. We Ah. friggin' met. Ah. You mean you don't know if he has a girl? You know, we met. You squeeze the shit out of my hand. I'm still black and blue. You know? And then you and that dude got married. No. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Next question. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, I mean, look, man, um, Look, it's the business, Melanie, yeah. right? It's like, the business. They had a I movie to promote. I had, and I was okay with that yeah. until it wasn't okay. Because <laughs> until, you know, coming home at two in the morning. I don't know. I oh, don't until know. they was actually fucking. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I but, did. Oh, go ahead. You know, I wouldn't do that. I also feel like, where is your faith in the movie? You know what I mean? <laughs> Why do you have to act like you are with everyone that you're in a movie with? Mm. I don't understand. I don't that get it. <laughs> this is going to all be cutting room floor. Edit this out. <laughs> I'm not editing shit <laughs> unless you tell me to afterwards. Yeah. I didn't have a beef with J-Lo until I saw the ham and cheese on the roll <laughs> clip. Oh, with the orange <laughs> Yeah. What happened? <laughs> the, they, they asked her her go-to uh, bodega order. Uh, bodega order. She said, ham and cheese on the roll. Uh, what she said? An uh, with an orange drink on the side, if and you know, chips. you know, and a small bag of chips. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, ham and cheese? Hello, <laughs> <know>, man. Stupid. <laughs> she could have said chopped cheese with an orange quarter water. You know what I mean? Well, look, maybe she's different, all right? <laughs> and that's fine, but I have a problem with the type of difference she is. Well, it's just it's a ham and cheese sandwich. Buying it, you make that when you ain't got no money. I, right. Well, okay, okay, but maybe— I've well, never ordered ham and cheese from the deli. Do the bodegas melt the cheese on the ham and cheese at least? Yeah. 
They well, they ask them to. There you go. It's just not your typical bodega <laughs> order. Like, it's just, maybe she went to a different, maybe it wasn't a bodega. Maybe it was just a corner store. I don't fucking know. She it. went to cats. Like, I'm still making excuses because I'm like, as a Puerto Rican, I'm done with this right. slander. How long you been in LA now? Um, So I moved to LA when, from, in 2013. 14. Okay. And then I was here till the pandemic. And then I went back to New York. During the pandemic? Mm -hmm. okay. And I just got back in January. Just to be with fam and shit? Or just what? to be next to family. I get it. Um, I was like totally by myself. Like, to oh my God, I was going fucking crazy. Were you? <laughs> I wish that I set up my apartment with like cameras so I could watch myself <laughs> losing my mind slowly and then like <laughs> make it into like an art film later on. <laughs> but because uh, I was going through it and I spent six months alone and my dad was like, do you ever want to just come back to New York? And I was like, yes. Oh. <laughs> You spent six months alone before you yeah. with my dog, my oh. poor dog. Okay, okay. My poor baby cannoli. <laughs> wow, you're uh, from New York. <laughs> yeah, because now she has like separation because she was so used to me being home all the uh, time, and her eyes like were always. Just if my dog is not my soulmate, why are we always locking eyes from across the room? That is your soulmate. Maybe y'all were married in a past life. I think so. Yeah. Beautiful girl. <laughs> not I gonna lie. Baby. I mean, yeah, granted, <laughs> I was married during the pandemic, but it was like. We are both people that enjoy our alone time. Mm -hmm. So I like, because a lot of couples were going through it. You know what I'm saying? When they had to be locked in the, the house together for yeah. like however long, that like a year or whatever. Oh, yeah. I was like, thank God we had a big enough crib that she could be in one end and I could be at the other end. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of people found out that they hate each other during mm -hmm. the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know, we could at least be like, all right, you do your thing. I'm going to go do my thing over here. Yeah. Um, A lot of people, a lot of fake people who were like swore they were like, I hate people during the pandemic <laughs> started going crazy. I'm like, yeah. nah, I talked that I hate people shit and I live that I hate people shit because yeah. during the pandemic, I had a great time. <laughs> yeah. I want to hate people so bad. <laughs> I want to. It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's I not feel bad. bad for people. That's the thing. Mm. When you actually hate people, you know, you are able to draw a line. Yeah. yeah. You feel bad from afar. You feel bad from mm. afar where you'd be like, look, man, during the meet and greets, you'd be like, I know you drove eight hours. But, like, <laughs> but that's your problem. You not coming <laughs> to this after party, my guy. <laughs> 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 that shit's just going to be weird. I'm yeah. just, I'm, uh, this is for you and me. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I'm going to make this hug real tight, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on that, big dog. I'm going to shake your hand real tight. I'm going <laughs> to sanitize right afterwards. <laughs> I'm going to J-Lo your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was the tightest handshake in the, all right, I'm over it. I'm over it. It's fine. She's a strong <laughs> lady, and that's okay. Uh, the pandemic. I don't know what I was going to say. It's okay. <laughs> oh, did you did, uh, get any hobbies during the pandemic? Why am I interviewing you? I'm like, let's talk about you. You know what? Because uh, because you're cool. You're you're a good person. Yeah. Um, we're just having a conversation mm. during the pandemic. I um. Did you hear my stomach? Are you hungry? No, it's a tequila. It's like, oh. my oh. stomach's angry. It's like, what is this? <laughs> what is your usual drink? Whiskey. Oh, why didn't you? T I did tell you. You did, but then I was like, well, we drink whiskey. And you were like, that's cool. If you told me that you prefer whiskey, <laughs> I could have got you some whiskey. Well, I mean, I also, I don't drink a lot because I, I love it too much. <laughs> um, So I don't keep alcohol in my house. Oh. I only drink like... On occasion, because I really love, I love to get. You just out here crossing all her boundaries, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I That's wanted a this. No, I, I, man, I wanted this. Um, but. Well, should we take a shot? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God, wait, no. <laughs> Why is that your response to that? You don't, you don't drink. I saw it. Nah, nah, so you don't drink. Well, because she said, I love this. And I'm like, well, if you don't never do this, let's do it. I'm about to go do stand up after this, too. It's going to be good to go. Do you normally drink before you do stand up? No. Should we not? No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to fall asleep in the middle of my set. Oh, man. That reminds me of the girls that complain about sending a long ass text and dude only replies to one part of it. <laughs> he That's said all that. It was like, oh, you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Tunnel vision, bro. Tunnel vision. Because look, if this is her excuse, That's this is my excuse so too. So you guys know that you do that? Uh, I don't do that. Okay. But oh, I know no. that women complain about that. Melanie, here's what you should know about us. You call me by my first name only? Melanie Iglesias, here's what you know about it. He calls everybody on the show their first and last name. I do. Right? I think it's very funny. You're very perceptive. Um, she walked up when I when I let her in the door. 
And I was like, Melanie Iglesias, what's good? Good to see you. <laughs> She's like, why do you call everybody by the first last name? <laughs> and I'm like, you probably one of like three people <laughs> who has ever noticed that I do that. Really? And, yes. And I think it's so funny to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want people, no, even though no one gives a fuck about me, I'm like, shh. Because <laughs> I got stalkers. I got yeah. paranoid. <laughs> I'm aliens. fucking aliens. What's your middle name? No, I'm not. That's, the, that's the one thing that's like sacred to me that people don't know. Okay, look, Ingrid, Melanie Encarnacion Iglesias. <laughs> Let's do this. Melanie Maria. Maria. Oh wow, you're so stereotypical. What? That's my mom's name. Cheers. What the hell? Cheers. Let's go. That's so funny. <laughs> Is there like a vomiting bag or something? <laughs> do you want to do this or not? <laughs> yeah. Nikki, what a typical girl. Gives you, the, gives you the eye contact signal and then wants to recant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't sense it at oh. first, okay? <laughs> Look, I pour shots now because I can't just kiss on the mouth now. I, I get the signal and then I go in, all right? <laughs> you spilling oh. already? Wow. It's a Gemini. Oh, man. oh, wow. I'm Gemini. like a true blue Gemini. <laughs> Oh, fuck. That's funny. Well, I'm a Pisces, so... Oh. What's that mean to you? You're very sensitive and... That's facts. <laughs> mm, you have strong feelings about things. This is also true, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you're kind of... You could be turbulent, but you're also... There's a lot of good things about you, too, but I haven't mm, learned them yet. Give me the, give me the, give me the, <laughs> give me the negative Pisces shit, and I'll tell you this They're just not. very... They're too sensitive for me. That's also... And I'm that's very also breezy. Said, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> well, look. I'm very breezy. I don't like to harp on things. And, I'll be harping. Yeah, you, yeah. And you guys tend to be, like, a little spiteful. Uh... It's In not, my experience. It's not spite. It's that we require <laughs> resolution. <laughs> and I'm not even speaking for Pisces because I, I low-key believe, I low-key don't. But my wife. I get on water signs nerves. Do you? Yeah. Because I'm airy and just like, whatever. And y'all just be brewing. And okay, look. <laughs> this shit is, is real. Rick is, is what it? I'm beginning to realize. What's okay. your sign? I'm a Libra. Oh, I love you. Oh, sweet. I love, I love you, too, you back. Tim. I'm grateful to be here. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> because my wife, Capricorn. Oh, I uh, love them. Will say, she'll be like, she can literally, she, she requires no resolution on anything. Mm. She can be like, mm, whatever, I don't care, move on. My mom's like that. She's Capricorn. Ugh. <laughs> to the point where, now this is where it gets very annoying. I'm not even talking about relationship shit. It gets annoying mm. where, I'll give you an example. Mm. We can watch a whole episode of Family Feud. Mm. We will get to the end where they're going to find out if the family wins or not. I'm talking about they will have 10 <laughs> points left to reach that 200, right? And she'll be like, all right, well, let's go to sleep. Off. I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you crazy? And she's like, what? Who cares? I'm like, you don't want to know if it's, if they got the 10,000? Are you, what? The 20,000, so whatever funny. it is? Like, why were we watching this? Yeah, and she's yeah. like, well, who cares? I'm like, you tripping, bro. <laughs> I um, care. So I and, love and, that for her. <laughs> and she will often be like, she's yeah. She's detached. She's that's so cool. detached. And, that, and that's a big reason why we, we work so well, because that's a lot of shit where mm -hmm. she just, where a lot of people will be like, how is your wife not upset about this? <laughs> she don't, she could give a shit. Yeah. Uh, so um, that's why, you know, we work. But also sometimes it's like, what's wrong with you, man? Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. You know, I've never yeah, dated I, I a water sign. <laughs> I've never dated a water sign. What, and Geminis are, are, are what? Air. Air. And what, what falls under that? Gemini. Libra, well, like, what are the Aquarius. Other signs? Libra. Oh, okay. Libra mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Word, word. Okay. Interesting. Libra is a scale. Yeah. Balanced. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Rick has kept <laughs> me very balanced over the years. <laughs> I was going to say, every time I watch an episode of this, you just seem so evenly killed. Like, you're just so, I love your energy. Well, you're thank just, you. you seem totally mentally healthy. Yeah. I really admire that. Now I have to <laughs> pretend to be that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> No, but thank you. Oh my God, I laughed like a witch. Someone told me the other day. Like, they're like, you laugh like a witch. I was like, okay, I come from a long generation of witches. Brujeria. Brujeria. Brujeria, yeah. yeah. No, you don't because for me, a witch laugh is like, <laughs> you didn't do that. One more of these tequilas. <laughs> oh, well, then I think you need to, we need to like party or something because I'm trying so, to hit a witch laugh. Everyone tells me that I'm so great when I drink and that's why I don't keep alcohol in the house because everyone's like, oh my God, you're so fun when you drink. I'm like, well, fuck you. Yeah, like, what, what was I, I like. I like to smoke and be like in my head, mm. you know, but drinking gets me out of that. I'm not thinking at all. There's yeah, I feel no like you should drink more and smoke less. 
damn. <laughs> Especially as an asthmatic, you know, because I smoke in spite of my asthma. What? Yeah. No, girl, drink and let but go. So Don't be good. thinking about the shit. <laughs> Look, give your lungs a rest and just drink. <laughs> Punish your liver well, now- a little more and let your lungs breathe. <laughs> See, do you drink every day? Organs. Do you drink? How often do you drink? I don't drink every day. Every um, podcast? I drink when I'm pod, uh, which is um, like, yeah, like once a week. But do you have least. like a glass of wine when you go uh, home? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, when I'm at the crib, when I'm cooking, I'll have a glass of wine or a beer or whatever. Cooking? Yeah. Do you make Thai food? <laughs> I don't. When I say cooking, I'm talking about follow the HelloFresh recipe. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, or, uh, but I don't make the Thai Hello food. The HelloFresh yellow curry. Mm, my mom my mom will come drop off like Thai food mm. and shit, you know, so I don't I don't need to do that. I probably okay. should learn the recipes before they retire to, to heaven, you know, but, uh, um, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, you know, I drink on, on the rarest, not rarest, I drink. Every week, probably. Okay, gotcha. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I do like once every three months. Every three months? Mm-hmm. This is the once every three months? I, I had a white, I'm lying. I had a white claw two days ago and I literally, because I only had one, I went home and I passed right out. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I'm like allergic to this. Oh, but then <laughs> or I, well, I don't know. Uh, sorry, I made you take a shot. No, <laughs> it's good. Okay, good. As long as, <laughs> as, long as you're happy about it. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna be like, please don't post this podcast. I don't want you to regret. <laughs> Bill Cosby gonna be like, see, see, they just be falling asleep. <laughs> I ain't had nothing to do with that. <laughs> it was regular drink. <laughs> I ain't nothing to do with that at all. Uh, it's well, natural. <laughs> we've had we've had more drunk on here, so uh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Shout out to Leia. Who got she the drunkest good. here? Uh, there was a uh, 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 hilarious comedian named Leia <laughs> Thompson. Yeah. So funny. I'm gonna beat she them. was great. Hold on. She came. She came. She drunk. came. Here. I didn't get her drunk. <laughs> okay, drunk wait, I drunk at her hotel. Alcohol. Wow, <laughs> you are drunk. Like, no, I just have like a gap in my tooth. So <laughs> That's adorable. Never fix it. Never fix it. Keep I'm it. not. I don't fix anything. Good. I have yeah. never got braces. I should. My dentist told me. He. My dentist told me this is probably inappropriate. He said my teeth are sexy. <laughs> no, fuck. What? Wait, that's your weird. dentist told you your teeth are sexy? Yeah, that's like, weird, right? That's I'm weird. I'm not used fuck. to people not being weird, so Wait. it's like normalized for people to be weird with me. Like at the dentist's office, or like yeah. like you was in the chair and he was yeah, like, was "Your teeth are sexy." Yeah, another How old time. Were you? 24. Okay, thank God. Okay. Oh, st- uh, another time I had stitches in my leg and I went to get them sexy. taken out and the guy was like, hey, you such a sexy. shame, <laughs> such beautiful legs had to be ruined. I was what like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just, doctors have always been weird. Yo, men are trash, bro. Hey, look, thank you. Th- oh this is God, not see, new shit that I'm hearing. Either. Lots of girls <laughs> have these about, like, mostly doctors. I never heard the dentist. My whole life I've but, been harassed. Yeah. And it's, awful. it's It's awful. That's men, why I'm funny. Men are trash. <laughs> yeah, no, like they they really be out here. Literally. <laughs> they just so, try it. Join me. And I have identify the, I have as anything the, but <laughs> I have the try me face. Everyone knows that I look I look approachable. I don't know how to look less approachable. <sighs> Open carry. <laughs> it's the only I'm way. with you. <laughs> I'm literally see that thinking about yeah. it. Nah, open. <laughs> they gotta see I'm gonna it watch this back and be like, up. my shirt was so filthy with tequila. <laughs> you got a yarn on you. Oh great. <laughs> That's been there the whole time, probably. <laughs> <sighs> okay. She's a mess, guys. Stop fucking stalking her. Look at her. Stop stalking her. Look. <laughs> there are better people to stalk. <laughs> Well, no, because you're so nice. <laughs> I feel like you're the ideal person to stalk because you, you don't set the boundaries. <laughs> Fucking stalkers is like, well, right as now, far as victims I'm go, getting a gun. From so here on stalking. out, look, do I'm not really- stalk her. <laughs> She's mean. Do not try and talk to her after her shit, all right? She don't like y'all. Girl. She don't care how far you drove yeah, to yeah, see yeah. her. She got a gun. She got mace. She got fucking brass knuckles. And I know karate. And she stank. Yeah, you. she. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. She does not smell good, all right? So do not get close. Smelly Melly. Smelly Melly. In the building. Yes, let's go. Um, Where can we find you? What can we, uh, what do you want to plug? What do I want to plug? I got a show next week in North Hollywood at the Ha Ha. This is going to come out in two weeks, um, so what? Oh, okay. No, never mind. The show is over. <laughs> Just follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm going on tour later this year. Bang. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Melanie Iglesias. I appreciate you. I fuck with you. Thank you. Uh, that was fast. Thank you. You're genuinely funny. Uh, <laughs> a lot of the shit you were saying, I was like, this is great. This is good shit. <laughs> not, even, not even as a hot girl. This is like genuinely funny shit. So I appreciate you. Uh, follow her on everything. 
Make sure y'all uh, like, share, all that bullshit. Thank you for watching No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tenshan Tharangsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. Thank you for watching. Bye.